the lessee is going to record an ROU asset. ROU stands for right of use asset. So we remember, this is not our asset, but it is an asset that we have the right to use for a period of time. So car lease. So that's recorded on the left-hand side of the balance sheet. On the right-hand side of the balance sheet, I'm going to have to capitalize the liability. I'm going to have to record a liability on the balance sheet, the lease liability, and both the ROU asset and the lease liability at the start of the lease will be equal to the present value of the lease payments. So again, that's a time value of money computation that we will perform in a minute. So at least at the start, the ROU asset and the lease liability have the same value, and that's how the balance sheet balances at the start. Now, the lease liability is reduced using the effective interest rate method. The ROU asset, however, is amortized straight line over the term of the lease. So the effective interest rate method is not a straight line method, but the ROU asset is amortized straight line. The big implication here is that the book value of the asset and the book value of the liability will diverge over the term of the lease because they are, they're being reduced to amortized at different rates.